Did you know that the key to living a more fulfilled, successful life isn't found in working harder or chasing after external achievements, but in mastering the art of inner growth? If you want to transform your life, overcome challenges, and develop a mindset that turns obstacles into opportunities, you need to make a few crucial shifts in the way you see the world and approach personal development. The best part of personal growth isn't about avoiding failure, it's about learning to embrace discomfort and find strength in silence, active listening and diverse perspectives. When you do this, you unlock a life of greater purpose, deeper relationships and lasting resilience. Sounds like a game changer, right? Avoid this common mistake. Many people think that success is all about constant motion, always being busy and never slowing down. But in reality, some of the most powerful breakthroughs come when you give yourself the time and space to reflect, listen, and grow from your experiences. So, if you're ready to discover how silence can help you thrive, how to turn setbacks into stepping stones, and why embracing discomfort is the key to unlocking your true potential, stick with me. Let's dive in. Number 1. Embracing change as a teacher. Change. It's something we all encounter, and yet we often approach it with resistance, anxiety, or outright fear. Who hasn't experienced that unsettling feeling when something unfamiliar comes into our lives, whether it's a new job, a new relationship, or a new city? But what if we could flip the script on change? What if instead of seeing it as a threat or a disruption, we viewed it as a teacher, Imagine the possibilities that could unfold. You might be feeling a sense of dread as you read these words, thinking about the last big change in your life that turned everything upside down. Maybe it was the loss of a job, the end of a relationship, or even something more personal, like a change in your health. These shifts can feel overwhelming, leaving us questioning our stability, our plans, and sometimes even our purpose. The initial reaction is often fear, that instinct to cling to what's familiar. Change doesn't ask for permission, and it certainly doesn't wait for us to feel ready. But here's the thing. Change is an inevitable part of life, and if we can shift our mindset, it becomes an opportunity, not just a challenge. Remember a time when you embraced a change, big or small. Perhaps it was something as simple as trying a new hobby or moving to a different neighborhood. At first, it might have felt like a risk, but over time, you realized that it brought unexpected lessons. It was a little uncomfortable at first, right? Maybe it felt a bit like walking through fog, unsure of what was ahead. But as you persisted, things started to make sense. You learned. You grew. The discomfort, while real, wasn't forever. It was only a phase. Number two, harnessing discomfort for personal growth. Let's talk about discomfort. We all know that feeling the unease in your stomach before an important meeting, the sweaty palms before a big test, or the butterflies you get when you're about to speak in front of an audience. Discomfort. It's not the most pleasant sensation, is it? But what if I told you that this very discomfort is often the gateway to your growth? That awkward, sweaty-palmed, heart-racing feeling might just be the most important thing standing between you and the person you are meant to be. At first, discomfort can feel like a huge obstacle, right? We'd all rather stay in our cozy, familiar zone where everything is predictable. After all, isn't that where we feel safest? But here's the kicker. True growth doesn't happen in comfort. Growth happens in the spaces where you're uncomfortable, where things don't quite go according to plan, and where you're pushed to be more than you thought possible. It's those uncomfortable moments that force you to stretch, to evolve, to be better than you were before. Think back to the last time you stepped out of your comfort zone. Maybe it was the first time you gave a presentation at work, or when you decided to run a marathon, even though you weren't sure you could make it. 
Do you remember how nerve-wracking it was? How you doubted yourself? The discomfort was palpable, wasn't it? And yet, despite how difficult it seemed at the time, you did it. You pushed through. And what happened on the other side of that discomfort? You were stronger, more confident, and a little bit more proud of yourself. Every time you step into discomfort, you strengthen your resilience and build your capacity to handle the challenges life throws your way. Here's something important to remember. Discomfort is not the enemy. It's the signal that you're on the verge of something meaningful. Whether it's the first date with someone new or the first day at a new job, discomfort is just a sign that you're on the path to growth. Embrace it. When you learn to welcome discomfort rather than shy away from it, you unlock the ability to truly stretch yourself. It's in those moments of uncertainty and vulnerability that the magic happens. You learn more about yourself than you ever could in your comfort zone. Nostalgia has a funny way of distorting the past, doesn't it? We often look back at old achievements, remembering them as easier than they felt at the time. The truth is, each success you've had in life likely came with a fair amount of discomfort. Maybe you think about that promotion you earned, but you forget about the sleepless nights, the self-doubt, and the anxiety that came with the process. What we often fail to see in hindsight is how much we grew in those moments of unease. Discomfort doesn't feel good in the moment, but once you're on the other side, you look back and realize it was exactly what you needed to become the person you are today. Now, imagine what your life would look like if you began to intentionally seek discomfort, not in an extreme reckless way, but in a way that challenges you to stretch beyond your limits. What if every time you felt that uncomfortable feeling rise up, you leaned into it instead of running from it? You might just find that your capacity for growth is limitless. The discomfort you once feared becomes the tool that propels you forward. It's a powerful shift in mindset that opens up new doors and new opportunities. Number three. The practice of deliberate disengagement. In this hyper-connected world, we're always on, always scrolling, always checking messages, always trying to stay in the loop. It's become second nature for us to keep our attention fragmented and scattered across multiple things at once. But have you ever stopped to consider the power of disengagement? What if, instead of constantly trying to stay connected, we practiced the art of deliberate disengagement. Imagine a moment in your life when you were truly present. Maybe it was a walk in the park, a dinner with loved ones, or even just a quiet moment of reflection. There were no distractions, no notifications pinging your phone, no emails demanding your attention, just you in the moment. How did that feel? How much clearer was your thinking? How much more connected were you to the people around you? In our fast-paced, always-on world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and forget that sometimes the best way to be productive is to disconnect. This isn't about avoiding responsibilities or running away from your commitments. Rather, it's about understanding the importance of stepping back, taking a breath and recharging your mind and spirit. When was the last time you gave yourself permission to not think about work, relationships, or social media for a while? For many of us, the answer is probably too long ago. Deliberate disengagement is more than just putting your phone on silent or stepping away from your computer for a few minutes. It's a practice, a conscious choice to create space in your life to focus on what truly matters. It's about reclaiming your attention, your energy, and your time, so you can show up in your life with full presence and intention. When you deliberately disengage from the noise around you, you give yourself the opportunity to reconnect with yourself, to reflect, to recharge, to come back stronger and more focused. Think about the times when you've taken a step back, maybe a vacation, a day off, or even just an afternoon spent without checking your phone. That sense of relief, 
that peacefulness that washes over you is not accidental. It's your mind and body's natural way of telling you that they needed a break. Just like we need sleep to function properly, we need time away from the digital chaos to process, reflect and recalibrate. The nostalgia kicks in when we think back to a time before we were constantly connected, before the world demanded our attention 24-7. There was a time when we could go on a walk without checking our phones every five minutes or have a meal without distractions. Imagine recapturing that sense of peace, of truly being in the moment, in a world that's always pulling you in different directions. What would that feel like? How much more connected would you be to your own life? If you're wondering how to start practicing deliberate disengagement, it's simpler than you might think. Begin with small steps. Start by setting aside specific times during the day when you disconnect from your devices. Designate a few hours to focus on something you enjoy, whether it's reading, journaling, cooking, or just being present with loved ones. The more you practice disengagement, the more you'll realize how much clearer and more intentional your life becomes. Number four, committing to lifelong learning. There's a certain warmth that comes with the idea of learning. Those aha moments when something new clicks, when an idea you once struggled to grasp suddenly makes sense. Remember the joy of discovering something new in your early years. Whether it was learning how to ride a bike or mastering your favorite video game, there was an innocence in the process, a freedom in knowing that learning was a lifelong journey, not a destination. Now, as we mature and face the challenges of adult life, it's easy to lose that sense of wonder. The pressures of work, relationships and everyday responsibilities often bury the spark of curiosity that once fueled our learning. But what if we could reignite that spark? What if we committed consciously and intentionally to becoming lifelong learners? At the heart of lifelong learning lies an important truth. It's not just about acquiring knowledge, it's about growing as a person. It's about having the curiosity to seek, the drive to explore, and the wisdom to recognize that there's always more to learn. How often do we tell ourselves we're done with school or too old to learn something new? Yet, some of the most successful individuals, from entrepreneurs to artists, understand the value of continuous education. For them, learning is not confined to classrooms or textbooks. It is woven into the fabric of their lives. Think back to when you were a child, how easily you picked up new skills, speaking a new language, learning to tie your shoes, or memorizing the lyrics to your favorite song. The older we get, however, the more daunting learning becomes. We begin to think of it as a burden, a chore, rather than an opportunity. But remember, learning isn't just about gaining facts. It's about changing how we think, expanding our horizons, and embracing the unknown. It's the foundation of growth. Here's the thing. If we're not learning, we're stagnating, the world around us is constantly evolving, and with it, our minds must adapt. The key to staying relevant, both professionally and personally, is continuous education. Lifelong learning can take many forms. It could be reading a book on a new subject, attending a workshop, or engaging in meaningful discussions with others. It could even be challenging yourself by taking on a new hobby, such as learning to cook, mastering a musical instrument, or taking a class in an entirely new field. Number five, cultivating gratitude as a path to wisdom. Gratitude is often thought of as a simple emotion, one that feels good in the moment, but doesn't seem to carry the weight of more complex emotions. We might give thanks on Thanksgiving, express appreciation when someone holds the door open, or reflect on our blessings during tough times. But what if gratitude could be something more? What if it could be a path to wisdom, a way of seeing the world not just through the lens of what we want or lack, but through the eyes of deep, appreciative understanding? 
Imagine the feeling you get when you pause and take a moment to reflect on the good things in your life. Maybe it's the support of family, the love of friends, or even just the simple comforts of home. In those moments, you might feel a sense of peace, a warmth that spreads through your body. That's the transformative power of gratitude. It shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present. It opens your heart to the beauty of the everyday, reminding you of how much you already have. But why is this so important? In a world that constantly encourages us to want more, more money, more success, more followers, it's easy to become trapped in a cycle of dissatisfaction. We focus on what's out of reach, and in doing so, we overlook the richness of the present moment. The practice of gratitude serves as a powerful antidote to this modern mindset of constant striving. The beauty of gratitude lies in its simplicity. You don't need grand gestures to practice it. You don't need to wait for a special occasion or for everything to be perfect. Gratitude can be cultivated in the smallest of moments. It's the act of looking around, acknowledging what is good and appreciating it. Maybe it's the feeling of the sun on your skin in the morning or the smell of fresh coffee brewing. It's in the conversations with loved ones, the quiet moments of reflection and even the challenges that force you to grow. But here's the kicker. Gratitude isn't just about feeling thankful for the good things. It's about recognizing that the struggles, the pain and the obstacles are also part of the journey. Life's challenges teach us resilience, patience and fortitude. When we cultivate gratitude, we begin to see these tough moments as opportunities for growth. We start to understand that wisdom isn't only found in happiness, but also in hardship. It's through these times that we deepen our understanding of the world and ourselves. Number 6. Mastering the Power of Mindful Observation in today's world, our senses are constantly bombarded. We're inundated with notifications, advertisements, and the endless hum of activity that surrounds us. It's easy to lose touch with the present moment, to be so caught up in our thoughts and distractions that we forget to really see the world around us. But what if we could tune out the noise, slow down, and truly observe? What if the act of simply paying attention could unlock a deeper level of understanding, peace and connection? Mindful observation is more than just seeing. It's about being present, about actively engaging with the world around you. It's the practice of noticing the small details that often go unnoticed, the things that make up the fabric of everyday life. The way the light hits the leaves in the morning, the sound of a bird's song in the distance, the texture of the food you're eating, all these details matter. When you practice mindful observation, you start to see the richness of life in a whole new way. Think about a time when you were fully immersed in a moment, when your attention was entirely on what was in front of you. Maybe it was a conversation with a friend, a walk through the park, or simply sitting in silence. In those moments, your mind wasn't racing ahead or looking back. It was right there, in the present. That's the power of mindful observation. It allows you to live in the moment, to experience life more fully, and to cultivate a deeper sense of peace. What's incredible about mindful observation is that it's available to all of us, at any time. You don't need special equipment or training. You just need to be willing to stop breathe and look around you. The more you practice this, the more you'll begin to notice how much you've been missing. Whether it's the smile of a stranger, the wind rustling the trees, or the scent of fresh rain, life is full of beauty waiting to be discovered. Mindful observation teaches you to slow down and pay attention. This practice not only enhances your daily experiences, but it can also deepen your relationships and understanding of the world. When you truly observe, when you're fully present, you become more attuned to the needs and emotions of others. You learn to listen with empathy, to see beyond surface-level interactions and to connect with people on a deeper level. 
Mindful observation also opens up the possibility for personal growth. The more you observe, the more you learn about yourself, your preferences, your habits, and your emotions. It allows you to reflect on your actions and choices, helping you to grow in self-awareness and understanding. It's a tool that empowers you to become the best version of yourself. Number seven, the art of active listening. Listening, as simple as it sounds, is one of the most profound skills you can develop, yet it's often overlooked in today's fast-paced world. Think about the last time someone truly listened to you, where you felt heard, understood, and validated. How did that make you feel? It likely left you with a sense of connection, appreciation, and even respect. Now compare that to the times when you've been speaking and the other person seemed distracted, their eyes glancing at their phone or their mind seemingly elsewhere. That sense of being unheard can be frustrating, leaving you feeling invisible, isolated and disconnected. Active listening is the antidote to this modern disconnect. It begins with a deep focus where you give the speaker your undivided attention, not just with your ears, but with your entire presence. It's more than just waiting for the other person to stop talking so you can share your own thoughts. It's about being fully present, engaging in the moment, and responding with empathy. Think back to your best conversations, those moments when you really felt the other person got you. That's the power of active listening. When you listen actively, you're not only absorbing information, but also absorbing the speaker's emotions, intentions, and underlying meaning. Consider the impact this skill could have on your relationships, both personal and professional. Imagine being the person who truly listens, who makes others feel seen and heard. How might that change the dynamics of your interactions? For those who practice active listening, Conversations transform into meaningful exchanges, fostering trust, building rapport, and enhancing emotional intimacy. It creates a space where both parties can connect authentically without fear of judgment or dismissal. Yet, active listening requires intentionality and effort. In our hyper-connected world, distractions are everywhere. The temptation to check your phone, glance at your watch, or let your mind wander is ever present. But when you choose to actively listen, you're making a conscious decision to value the other person's words and emotions above all else. Number eight, seeking silence amidst the noise. In today's world, silence has become a rare commodity. Our lives are filled with constant noise, whether it's the never-ending stream of notifications, the hum of conversation in public spaces, or the internal chatter of our own minds. Silence can feel like a luxury, something we can't afford in the hustle and bustle of modern life. But what if silence was not only something we sought, but something we needed for our well-being, clarity, and personal growth? Imagine for a moment the feeling of being in a quiet space, free from the distractions of the outside world. It's almost as if time slows down, allowing you to catch your breath and find a sense of calm. In those moments, you become more attuned to your inner thoughts, your emotions, and your deeper sense of purpose. That's the power of silence. It gives you the space to reflect, to center yourself, and to hear your own thoughts without the influence of external noise. Seeking silence is not just about escaping from the world, it's about creating a space where you can hear yourself. It's in these quiet moments that your mind can sift through the clutter, make sense of the chaos, and process your thoughts and feelings. How often do you find yourself surrounded by noise, whether physical or mental, and yet you struggle to think clearly? The constant buzz of the outside world makes it difficult to focus, to understand your true feelings, and to make thoughtful decisions. Silence offers you the mental space to regain your clarity. The importance of silence is not just philosophical, it has tangible benefits. Studies show that silence can reduce stress, 
lower blood pressure, and improve concentration. It can boost creativity and problem-solving skills, allowing your mind to recharge and approach challenges with a fresh perspective. In the workplace, too, moments of silence can be incredibly productive. The idea that we must always be on or constantly engaged is a misconception. In fact, quiet moments of reflection can lead to deeper insights, greater focus, and more effective decision-making. On a personal level, silence provides the space for you to connect with your true self. In a world that constantly tells you who you should be and how you should behave, silence is the antidote. It allows you to tune out external expectations and tune into your own desires, passions and values. It's in these quiet moments that you can reflect on your journey, realign with your purpose and remember who you are beyond the noise of the world. Think about the last time you experienced a quiet moment, perhaps in nature, during meditation, or even in the calm of your home at night. In that space, you may have experienced a deep sense of peace, connection, or even inspiration. Silence has a way of helping you reconnect with yourself and your surroundings in a way that noise simply cannot. In seeking silence, you open the door to personal insight and growth. Number 9. Valuing diverse interactions for broader perspectives. Have you ever had a conversation that completely shifted your worldview? Maybe it was a discussion with someone from a different culture, someone who held different beliefs, or perhaps even someone who had lived a completely different life than yours. These kinds of interactions have the power to expand your mind in ways that few other experiences can. In a world that often encourages echo chambers and division, seeking out diverse interactions is one of the most powerful ways to grow as an individual and as a society. When you engage with people who have different experiences, perspectives and beliefs than your own, you are forced to challenge your assumptions. You see the world through their eyes and understand that your viewpoint is not the only one that matters. This is not just about tolerance or acceptance, it's about actively seeking out those differences and valuing them. It's about acknowledging that your understanding of the world is incomplete without the perspectives of others. Think about the conversations you've had with people from different walks of life. Perhaps you've learned about a culture you knew little about, or you've heard a perspective that challenged your long-held beliefs. These interactions can be uncomfortable at first. They require you to step outside of your comfort zone and embrace the unfamiliar. But in doing so, you grow. Your understanding of the world deepens and your empathy for others expands. In your personal life, valuing diverse interactions can strengthen your relationships and make you more adaptable, whether in a friendship, a romantic relationship or a professional setting, diversity of thought, experience and background enriches the connection between individuals. It allows you to approach problems from multiple angles, to come up with more innovative solutions and to avoid falling into groupthink. In the workplace, fostering an environment of diverse interactions is crucial for success. Companies that value diversity in thought, culture and experience are often more creative, more resilient, and more successful. When you surround yourself with a variety of perspectives, you create a dynamic environment where new ideas flourish and challenges are met with diverse solutions. Ultimately, seeking out diverse interactions helps you become a more well-rounded, open-minded individual. It teaches you that there is more than one way to live, to think, and to be. And in this ever-changing world, that ability to see beyond your own experiences is a critical skill for growth and success. Number 10. Transforming obstacles into opportunities. We all face obstacles in life, whether it's a setback in our career, a personal loss, or a challenge in our health. Obstacles can feel like insurmountable walls. But what if we looked at obstacles differently? 
What if, instead of seeing them as roadblocks, we saw them as opportunities for growth, transformation, and reinvention? It's natural to feel defeated when facing obstacles. They test our patience, our resilience, and sometimes even our will to continue. Yet, every obstacle holds within it the potential for change. It's through the struggle that we grow. Think about the obstacles you've faced in your own life. Some of them may have been difficult, even painful. But with time, have you found that they taught you something important? That they led you to new insights, new opportunities, or even a new direction in life? The key to transforming obstacles into opportunities lies in our perspective. It's easy to view obstacles as personal failures, but that mindset only limits our potential. Instead, consider how obstacles can push us out of our comfort zones and force us to innovate. When we are faced with a challenge, we are often forced to think creatively, to find new solutions and to develop new skills. This process of problem solving is the very thing that fosters growth. In your career, obstacles may come in the form of setbacks or failures. However, every successful person has faced obstacles along the way. It's how they respond to those obstacles that determines their success. Instead of succumbing to frustration or despair, successful individuals see obstacles as opportunities to learn, to improve and to adapt. They recognize that failure is not permanent, it's simply a stepping stone on the path to success. In your personal life, obstacles may come in the form of emotional struggles, family issues or health challenges. These situations can be deeply difficult, but they also offer opportunities for personal growth. In overcoming emotional struggles, we often become more compassionate and resilient. In dealing with health challenges, we learn to appreciate our bodies and cultivate healthier habits. Every obstacle is an opportunity for self-discovery and self-improvement. Ultimately, the ability to transform obstacles into opportunities is what allows us to live a fulfilled, resilient life. By embracing challenges with the mindset that they hold potential for growth, we open ourselves to new experiences, new wisdom and new opportunities that we may have otherwise missed. And there you have it. Those are the powerful principles that can truly transform your life. Remember, it's not about avoiding challenges, but embracing them with the right mindset. Whether it's mastering the art of listening, finding clarity in silence or turning obstacles into opportunities, each step is designed to help you unlock your full potential. If you've absorbed even a fraction of what we've covered today, you're already ahead of the game. Drop a hundred if you've watched this far. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who actually finish what they start. If you're serious about making real change in your life, make sure to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you're not just watching another video you're committing to your own growth and transformation. Let's continue this journey together.